I don't know how I feel just yet. It. The 2017 adaption slash remake of a 1986 book and 1990 remake. This is my spoiler review, so you have been warned. It is a great movie that was an awesome cinematic experience. But, okay, so there are some amazing sequences in this movie. The fact that Georgie gets his arm literally bitten off was terrifying enough, let alone the heartbreaking fact that he cries for his brother as he's dragged down into the sewers. After that scene, I knew we were in for a treat. I'm about 400 pages into the book, and they left out one of my favorite favorite sequences so far in it. The scene where Ben is trudging through the snow and he encounters Pennywise and his balloons that float upwind. It is deeply atmospheric and dark, despite all the white snow. Speaking of Pennywise, Bill Skarsgård is phenomenal. I understand that people fell in love with Tim Curry's portrayal, and I agree, it is memorable. However, Skarsgård does a superb job in almost every way. The acting from all the actors and actresses was great across the board. Everyone did a stellar job. Creating atmosphere, scares, and some good horror was not a problem. So where does the film fall in the meh category? There are some odd editing choices, including slow motion, and a montage that is so 80s that it actually broke a bit of the tension for me. Some of the characters could have been more developed, but I think they did a serviceable job. Pure horror doesn't suit this film. All the jump scares don't make it horrific or intense. Well, in terms of genuine suspense. Sure, we get creepy imagery and shocking violence, but I feel more suspense could have been used. The time it was utilized, like with Georgie and Pennywise and Richie in the clown-infested room, were great, and the jump scares aren't fake-outs, which was really refreshing. I was expecting a bit more gruesome acts and intense terror, but what we have here is something that is a haunted house slash roller coaster ride of chills and thrills. My favorite creepy scenes would have to be Pennywise in the meat locker, and he kind of contorts his way out, of him dancing in his little carnival show, the projector scene, and Pennywise meeting Georgie. These scenes are effective and are executed very well. There was tension, like with Pennywise teasing Eddie about biting his arm, but not to the level it could have been. One major problem I feel with this movie is that we already know the kids are safe. We've either read the book, seen the miniseries, or know there's a part two coming, or even all three. And if you're lucky enough to think that some of the kids would die because you haven't had any prior experience with the movie or book, then you'll probably want to either praise it for being original or bash it for having less of a body count. We pretty much all know the story. Seeing it told again but with more effective scares doesn't make it 100% more lovable, but it is still a superb horror fest with some good scares, acting, effects, atmosphere, and violence. Whether it was what you expected, whether it's left you wanting more, or whether you were blown away by it, there is still a lot of good fun and scares to be had in it. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Forest Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe. I'll have my full it review out in the future.